for me, my next one would be Toradora, which I'm pretty sure you have seen Toradora yep. somewhere out in the wilderness, recommended by someone. And I just want to let you know that it is definitely a must watch. Um, it is a shoujo, which, oh my God, is this the second? No, I just talk about shoujos a lot because I watch them. But there are good shoujos out there. They're not all just about like pink, pretty love, whatever. Anyway, Toradora, basically, um, it's a uh, comedy. I would say like rom-com, but it you really can't define it as a rom-com because the second curve of the show is so fucking visceral and just um, relatable that the, the comedy kind of just like doesn't even fucking matter anymore because it's some real ass shit. So basically, it is the situation of Ryuji and Taiga. Um, Ryuji's a guy, Taiga's a girl, and Ryuji and Taiga both have best friends. Ryuji likes Taiga's best friend, and Taiga likes Ryuji's best friend. So they basically get together and try to like come up with plans to hook the other one up with the other one's best friend. Um, the main cast is made of five people, so Ryuji Minori, and then Taiga and Yusaku, and then there's Amy. Amy is Yusaku's um, childhood friend who's also been a model her entire life. So basically what happens is throughout this entire show, um, we see these five characters grow, basically, and this is it's, it's set in high school. We see them grow into the people that they basically are going to be for the rest of their lives. One arc growth arc that I really, really love is Amy, who she's always been pretty. She's always gotten what she's wanted her entire life. And what happens is once she's brought into the group, Tyga throws her the fuck off where she's basically like, this is the first person who's never bowed down to me because I'm so beautiful and et cetera, et cetera. And in actuality, Amy's an asshole and she's an asshole because she's always gotten away. So when she doesn't get her way, she fucking throws a fit. And by the end of the series, we see Amy basically including that assholishness as part of her like regular personality and people loving her for that because it's actually a part of who she fucking is. Um, the rest of it, the relationships, I'm not going to mention because that shit gets so good that, um, yeah, you just need, you just need to watch it. But they also bring into the the realm of or they also go into the realm of like different familial situations um uh, certain people having access to money but not having access to emotional um reciprocation with their parents basically being thrown aside and then you have someone who doesn't have everything but their parent is always there but then that parent that is always there isn't quite the best parent that you would like to be around a developing teenager so um there's there's something for everyone, to be honest. And by the end of the series, you literally are just like, where's season two? And it came out in 2008. Um, we have not gotten to season two. And we deserve it. It's a light novel. There's more. We should we deserve it. We're going to get it. We better get it. If Log Horizon can get season three, then I can get Toradora season two. I it it can happen. It better happen. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 